بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم لیٹس اسٹارٹ وتھ آئلس لسننگ اینڈ وی ول ڈو ون کمپلیٹ آئلس لسننگ ٹیسٹ دیٹ انکلوڈس پارٹ ون ٹو تھری فور اینڈ دیٹس اٹ دیر آر فور پارٹس ان آئلس لسننگ ان آئلس ریڈنگ وی ہیو فائیو پارٹس تھری اونلی ان آئلس اسپیکنگ دیر آر ٹین پارٹس تھری اونلی دین لوسی از رانگ ہاں okay so don't worry yeah sometimes hey guys uh, you know sometimes on youtube they have some videos hey guys today i will tell you about the new developments in ielts please watch the video till the end there are many new developments in ielts and they have changed it all together i will tell you everything <laughs> right when you reach towards the end then you realize so far there is no development everything is same but there can be some developments the other day i just uh, i got attracted to a thumbnail how to look fair right and there was a lady giving tips and she said watch the video till the end and she continued continued everybody wants to have fair complexion fair complexion is very important if you have fair complex blah 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 i wanted to see what is the tip i dragged the video towards the end at the end she said doodh mein tukh malanga dal ke piye that's it <laughs> and then you will have the fair complexion so don't worry anyways let's start ielts listening complete the form below and target is 40 by 40 inshallah inshallah write your name down on your handout and you also have to do one thing one more thing you got to do and that is when i play the audio first time if you get the correct answer please tick over there tick means i got the correct answer and if the answer is wrong in the first attempt then you can write a star there star means wrong answer tick means right in the first go first go only and by the end of the test you can count the total number of correct answers and this is how you can check how many answers are correct again i'm telling you one first go when i play the audio first time then you have the right answer just count those answers okay okay questions 1 to 3 complete the form below write one word and or a number for part 1 one word and or a number that is very very common pattern but sometimes in part 1 there is multiple choice sometimes in part 1 they give you different type of questions also but this one word and or a number is the most common pattern and there are 90% chances that you are going to get one of these they say here rented properties customers requirements rented properties you understand places on rent okay and then they say customers requirements so what are the requirements of the customers uh, there is going to be a form you got to fill in as they said in the beginning complete the form below okay a uh, name is mentioned there is no question you will not read it just underline godfrey underline Godfrey you know why because you have to follow the audio tracking the audio is very important what is tracking the audio where you are uh, i mean where the audio is on the question booklet you are also there if he says my name is steven godfrey now you've got two hands by the way so one hand will write the answer and that hand should be on question number 1 second hand will track the audio and that hand should be when they say the name you put your this finger on the name when he says number of bedrooms four put this finger this finger will move with the audio so that you could track the audio and this hand will write down the answer like this you can do okay or you can use two pens as well one to track the audio and one to write down your answer both ways it's fine okay now preferred location underline the word preferred location Uh, i want you all to focus two languages now one is the language which is written here and one is the language they are going to speak in the audio these two languages are going to be similar in meaning but totally different in wording words will be different meaning will be same now have you underlined preferred location for preferred location they will say it will be nice it will be nice so whatever they say after it will be nice if it is in the city center or anything like that it will be nice means preferred location right let's see i play the audio listen and answer question number 1 you will hear an estate agent talking to a customer who wants to rent a house good morning how can i help you hello 
I'm interested in renting a house somewhere in the town. Right.、Uh, could I have your name, please? Yes, it's Stephen Godfrey.、Mm-hmm. And tell me how many bedrooms you're looking for. Well, we'd need four because I'm going to share the house with three friends. Okay. There are several of that size on our books. They mostly belong to families who are working abroad at the moment. What about the location? It'd be nice to be central.、Oh, that might be difficult, as most houses of that size are in the suburbs. Still, there are a few. It'll be nice to be central. And she said most houses are in the suburbs. Suburbs are, you know, extended areas and all that. So answer is central, and then there is area of town. Is it clear? So whenever you practice IELTS listening, I advise you all just see the language of question booklet and the language of audio. And once you practice eight to ten tests like this, then you will be very much clear that now I understand how they change the wording, how they change the ideas. Okay, maximum monthly rent. Now, whenever they use the word maximum, minimum, average, they will always give you a trap. For example, they will tell you minimum monthly rent. Will that be your answer? They will tell you average rent. Will that be your answer? No, your answer is maximum monthly rent. So the highest amount will be your answer. What's your upper limit for the rent? We'd like something around five hundred pounds a month, but we could go up to six hundred pounds if we have to. But we can't go beyond that.、Mm-hmm. So. Five hundred pounds, but we can go more to six hundred pounds, but we cannot go beyond that. Now, those who are doing IELTS listening blindly, I just want to give you an example. Blindly means without any understand、uh, understanding. Answer this pounds, and they will write five hundred. But actually, those who read the question maximum, and they are waiting for maximum. So this is the level of consciousness you should have during your IELTS listening test, right? So correct answer is, and pound sign is already. Given, so you will not write anything. And whenever there is a number, use digit six double zero. That's right. Length of let required. Let means rent. You know, it's written there on the billboards to let, to let. The other day I was going there and Yasin told me, sir, in on a toilet, the spelling is wrong. That's not toilet. That's to let. Yeah, it's not upper toilet. Can't see again. Yeah, to let. So. <laughs> <laughs> Too late means you can rent that billboard and all that. So length of rent let required. Length means duration, and duration is now they're talking about a property. It's not going to be a day or week. Minimum months, maximum some years. So answer is going to be number of months or number of years. Do you know how long you want to rent the house for? The minimum let is six months, as you probably realise. We're at college here for two years, and we don't want to have to move during that time if we can avoid it. Right. So, six months. Well done. Raise your hands. Those who've written six months, excellent. I want to appreciate them. Those who've written six, two years. Now, what's the question? Length of let required. Six months is the minimum period. But he said we are here in the college for two years, and we don't want to move. Means two years will be the answer. In actual exam, they will not play the audio one by one the way I am playing because I am teaching you. In actual exam, they will not repeat the audio. Audio will be played once only. Let's listen to this again. Do you know how long you want to rent the house for? The minimum let is six months, as you probably realise. We're at college here for two years, and we don't want to have to move during that time if we can avoid it. Right. Okay, we are at college for two years, and we don't want to move. So answer is two years. And how will you write two years? Two as a number and years as a word. Okay, that's right. <laughs> Now let's move on. Huh? No, you don't need hyphen between two years. No. But then you're writing two words. Then you're not writing one word. They they've used the word one word and or a number. So two should be written as a number. If you write two as a word, then you are writing two words. So your answer may be wrong. Yes. Okay, guys. Now we've got questions four to eight. Complete the table below. Whenever they give you a table, table has columns, right? And the audio is going to go in the order of the questions. So let's see. 
we have address we have rooms we have monthly rent now listen very very simple when in the audio they are going to say 550 pounds you should be alert because right after that there's going to be the answer so address is given rooms uh, that is given and you don't need to read extra things don't read extra things okay in the audio they will tell you what it is now problem no dash encircle the word no and right over there doesn't have for example no electricity it doesn't have electricity there is no electricity electricity is missing okay anything like that that describes no for no they use doesn't have they use uh, for example there is no or I'm afraid we don't have anything like that now for this answer just listen until 550 pounds when they say 550 pounds you have to be alert and after that whatever they say with no that will be your answer and they will not use the word no directly okay question number four please listen and answer and how soon do you want to move in all our lets start on the first of the month well as soon as possible really so that means September 1st okay let me have a look at what we've got uh, we have photographs of all the houses on our book so you can get an idea of what they're like there's this one in Oakington Avenue at £550 a month, combined living room and dining room with a separate kitchen. It doesn't have a garage, though you can park in the road. Uh, we prefer to have one if possible. Right. It doesn't have a garage. So doesn't have a garage means no garage, but kitchen and other things are available. So answer is garage. Very good. Okay, next the clue word is 580 pounds and then question number five the dash is too large underline the word too large for too large they might use the word big huge gigantic or they use the word king sized something right let's see what is it that is too large for too large they might use the word big then have a look at this house in Mead Street. Mm -hmm. It's got a very large living room and kitchen, bathroom, cloakroom. How much is it? That one's 580. It's very well furnished and equipped. It also has plenty of space for parking and it's available for a minimum of a year. Oh, and there's a big garden. Okay, parking is the right answer. But just sabar karna. Answer to bhi aaya hi nahi. Aur ye answer bolna nahi hai. Khamoshi se during the audio, please don't say anything. Control yourselves. And those who are trying to find the answer, they have already used the word large living room. But have you noticed it came before five eighty pounds? So that is not your answer. Wait for the answer to come and don't be overly joyed. When I ask you, then tell me the answer. Otherwise, ab baakiyon ka listening test kharaab karenge. So let's move on. Oh, I'll have to play it all again. Sorry. Then have a look at this house in Mead Street. Mm -hmm. It's got a very large living room and kitchen, bathroom, cloakroom. How much is it? That one's 580. It's very well furnished and equipped. It also has plenty of space for parking and it's available for a minimum of a year. Oh, and there's a big garden. I don't think we could cope with that, to be honest. There is a big Whoa. garden. Plenty of space for parking. You cannot say the parking is too large. Plenty of space. Space doesn't mean too large, okay? So, uh, then he said, she said big garden. So, garden is going to be the right answer. Let's go on. Question number six. Hamilton Road. Now, listen carefully. Living room, kitchen, uh, kitchen diner, and a uh, dash. Now there is something and a dash. So there is living room, kitchen, diner and a dash. It's going to be a type of room in the house. For example, and a bathroom and a cloakroom and a dining room and a living room. Something like living room they already mentioned. Uh, then there's this older house in Hamilton Road. Living room, kitchen, diner and it has a study. Uh, 550 a month. It has a? Study. Study means study room. It has a study. So answer is study. S-T-E-A-D-Y. Good, good, very good. See that with the friction of uh, change, your answer is going to be wrong. That is why listen to the audio till the end to find the right answer. Okay, question number seven. Two dash. Very simple. For two, they often use the word very. 
For example, too expensive, very expensive. Quite expensive, pretty expensive. Got it? For 2T002, they can use quite, they can use very, they can use pretty, they can use pretty much expensive or anything like that. Just focus the word T002 and you will find the answer. That looks rather nice. But whereabouts in Hamilton Road? Towards the western end. Oh, that'll be very noisy. I know the area. Yes, it's pretty lively. But some people like it, though. That'll be very noisy. I know the area. That'll be very noisy means too noisy. And by the way, on top, they have mentioned problem. So the problem is noisy with correct spelling. By the way, if your spelling is wrong, your answer is wrong. Right? They'll not accept wrong spelling. Okay, question number eight is the amount of dividend close, and it's just going to be amount in pounds. Focus. Well, what about this house in Devon Close? That looks lovely. There's a big demand for houses in that area, so prices tend to be quite high. But this one hasn't been decorated for a few years, which has kept the rent down a bit. It's got a living room, dining room, and small kitchen, and it's 595 a month. It's 595 a month. So what will be the answer? 595. And one more thing. Whenever you do table completion, you need to see what is written above. I mean, for example, you can follow the same pattern. Above, they've written 550, 580, 550. So you can follow the same pattern. In table completion, you always get help what is given above the question or sometimes below the question. All good? Let's go on. We've got multiple choice questions and these questions are number 9 and 10. Now see that in part 1, first we had one word only, then table completion and now we have multiple choice and this is what we call double multiple choice questions. So, which two facilities, underline two facilities, in the district of Devon Close are open to the public in the moment? Now, just underline in the mo at the moment. Two facilities at the moment. Now listen, whenever they use language like this, what was available in the past and not available at present is your trap. What will be available, that is also a trap. So how many items are given from A to E? Five items. Two items are presently, currently available for... Uh, uh, at the moment, for at the moment, they can use the word presently. For at the moment, you can, they can use the word currently, right? So whatever is available presently, currently, that is your answer. Whatever was available or will be available, that is a trap. So out of five, you need to avoid those three traps and then you will find two right answer. And what are the words? A is museum, B is concert hall, C, cinema. D, sports center, swimming pool. Now, if they say our swimming pool will be ready next month, Will that be the answer? No. If they say we used to have a museum which is closed for renovation. No. Okay. So this is what you have to check. And uh, to make it more confusing, these options are not in order. Multiple choice questions are in order, but the options in the question, they are not in order. If only these options were in order, multiple choice questions could be easier 10 times. Options are not in order. First, you need to find out. For example, if they say cinema, now listen carefully. And then you need to tick or cross. If cinema is currently available, tick. That's the answer. If it was available or it will be available, then that is not the answer. If say, we are planning to construct a cinema, is that the answer? No, it is not the answer. If they say, our sports center is closed because of lack of funding, even that is not the answer, okay? Now, you will give me both answers together as A, B, B, C, D, and all that. Let's start. Why is that part of town so popular? Well, there's a big scheme to improve the district, and it'll soon have the best facilities for miles around. What sort of thing? There's a big sports centre under construction, which will be very impressive when it's finished. In fact, the swimming pool's already opened, ahead of schedule, and it's attracting a lot of people. What about cinemas? Are there any in the area? The only one closed down last year, and it's now in the process of being converted into a film museum. The local people are trying to get a new cinema added to the scheme. I think I heard something about a plan to replace the existing concert hall with a larger one. Ah, that's due to start next year. Uh, well, it sounds an interesting area to live in. Mm. Could I go and see the house, please? Yes, of course. Okay. 
Correct answer is? All right. How many of you say A? Because now these are the people who heard the word museum without the reference of this thing. How many of you say concert hall? All right. Okay. I'll, I'll play the audio again. Don't worry. Okay. I'll play the same audio again. Uh, C, cinema. How many of you say cinema? Come on. Come on. Cinema is ready. Yeah. No. How many of you say sports center? No. And how many of you say swimming pool? Absolutely. So your one answer is correct. Okay. Now please write down a code. A code. Write down a code. Code. Uh, yeah. D. D for doctor. E for elephant. C for cat. A for apple. B for boy. Just click on D E C A B. Okay. This is the order of all these options in the audio. And this is not going to be same every time. It's different, right? Now, I play this audio once again. Please focus and you'll find the answer. Why is that part of town so popular? Well, there's a big scheme to improve the district and it'll soon have the best facilities for miles around. What sort of thing? There's a big sports center under construction, which will be... There is a big sports center <laughs> under construction. So, it is not something which is available at the moment. So you need to just write a little cross at the end of sports center because you know sometimes elimination is the best way. What is elimination? Wrong one out. Right? If you eliminate three wrong options, you will be left with two right answers. But if you eliminate the right answer in the beginning, then you are not going to make it. Let's go on. Very impressive when it's finished. In fact, the swimming pool's already opened. In fact, the swimming pool's already open. So it's already open means at the moment swimming pool is available. The first correct answer is swimming pool. Now please come to option C, cinema. Ahead of schedule and it's attracting a lot of people. What about cinemas? Are there any in the area? The only one closed down last year. The only one closed down last year means cinema is not available. So you can cross cinema also. After this, they're going to come to the museum. And it's now in the process of being converted into a film museum. It's now in the process of being converted into film museum. And even that is not ready yet. So when you cross museum also, cinema also, sports center also, the two options which are left, they will be the right answers. Now listen about concert hall. The local people are trying to get a new cinema added to the scheme. I think I heard something about a plan to replace the existing concert hall. I heard something about the plans of, uh, ex uh, of converting the existing concert hall. Now, what do they say about it? With a larger one? Ah, that's due to start next year. Uh. That's due to start next year. So it means the concert hall, which is as it is, that is available now. Right? That's due to start next year. They have a plan, but that's due to start next year. So concert hall is available this is something different okay so got it never write your answer by listening to a word by picking a word only you need to focus and investigate and for multiple choice elimination is the best way and elimination is only possible if you understand the audio and then you can just write let's go on bismillah rahman rahim assalamu alaikum thank you so we are going to start with IELTS listening and it is going to provide you another opportunity to get good band score. Okay. Uh, if your target band is six, seven, eight, or even nine, this is going to help you because we are going to solve 40 questions, all 40 questions, one by one, I will give you tips and techniques for all the questions. And if in actual exam, you score 39, your band is nine. With 39, you get 9 bad, okay? So they give you one mistake, relaxation. And if it is less than that, then 8.5 and all that, okay? So listening is the module after attending my class. Listening is the module where you should score minimum, minimum, minimum 7. Whether your target band is 5, you should score. And listening is fun. Once you're going to start it, you will enjoy the way they talk and uh, their conversations. And whenever you do listening, please adopt their style. We use the word imitation. Imitation is to copy the way they speak. Hello, Julia. How are you doing? You also say, hello, Julia. You change the name. If you don't have Julia, change the name, but you should follow the style, the way they speak. Okay. So that is important. And one more thing. On question booklet. The language that is written, this is entirely different. 
in the audio the language that they ba not bark the language that they speak that is that is in time why i'm using the word bark there is a reason the reason is they change it all together for you innocent students it becomes difficult to understand but meaning is same language is entirely different but meaning is same sometimes it sounds stupid sorry to use this word it sounds stupid that why don't you talk about the things directly why don't you use the same words which are written over here and if they do that ielts listening will become very much easier for you as compared to now right so you need to understand those synonyms that rewording paraphrasing and all that okay now let's start section 1 complete the form below this sentence will always tell you about the type of questions that you are doing so the type of question is form completion there is a form and you have to complete that write one word n or a number so answer may contain one word n or a number one word means mobile number is 2 so answer can be mobile answer can be 2 answer can be 2 mobiles right okay early learning child care center now early learning means before school or we call it preschool as well yes mobile means this mobile no 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 i said one word and or a number means answer may be agar mobile hai to it is going to be mobile mobile is a word one is a number so answer can be mobile or answer can be two mobiles or answer can be only two because they've written one word and i use mobile as an example right okay so early learning child care center enrollment form like you want to deposit your child not deposit admit your child you know it's like depositing your child rakh lo sham ko de dena okay so early learning child care center and there is an en enrollment form now you can switch on your imagination that there is a child care center where they admit their children and all that the sort of details they need there can be example is given in the past they used to play the example audio first and then they used to start the test but now they don't play the example audio first they start the test directly personal details child's name kate mentioned already age very simple and it's question number 1 some students sometimes say age 1 is already written what will we write <laughs> you know so be careful with anything like that okay age of kate now kate is a child a baby so let's see what is the age of kate you will hear a conversation between the director of a child care center and a parent enrolling her child in the center they will always speak this sentence to further clarify whatever they you will hear a conversation between blah 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 they will always tell you right and uh, after that they give you half minute to read the questions so that you are clear what you are going to read good morning welcome to the early learning child care center how may i help you hi i spoke to you last week about enrolling my daughter for next year oh yes i'll just get some details from you so you're her mother that's right and can i have your name it's carol carol smith and your daughter's name it's kate now We have several groups at the center and we cater for children from 3 to 5 years old. How old is your daughter? She's 3 now, but she turns 4 next month. I'll put 4 down because that's how old she'll be when she starts. Fine. Answer? She's 3 now, but she turns 4 when she joins, so I'll put 4 down. And the age group is 3 to 5. Now, have you noticed one thing they confused you a lot? age group is 3 to 5 she is 3 now but when she joins she is going to be 4 so the answer is 4 uh now you will write 4 exactly as a number don't write f o u r just write 4 age 4 or even you can write 4 years no problem yeah you you can write years as well okay just a second let me check uh if they have mentioned this word or not let me just check that then i'll tell you they've written four only but i think if you write years that's not going to be a problem age four uh well age is already written that means years so it's a good idea to write four only because in the answer key also they have written four they have not written four years 
So years can be an extra word, but logically, even if you write years, that's not wrong. But those markers who check your listening in actual exam, they don't know anything like that. They only know this is the script, color on right or wrong on your answer sheet like that. Okay, question number two, address dash road. It's going to be the name of the road. And then they say Woodside 4032. So the answer is going to be the name of road. Let's see. She's so excited about her birthday and coming to the centre. Oh, that's good to hear. And what's your address? It's 46 Wombat Road. That's W-O-M-B-A-T. Woodside 4032. And what's the phone number? Oh, it's 3345-9865. All right. So answer is 46... Wombat, W-O-M-B-A-T. So you'll write it as it is, 4040, sorry, 446, and Wombat. And Wombat, they actually uh, spelt it for you, right? If the word is difficult or unusual, they will spell it for you. And it's always there. One phone number, uh, one spelling, it's always there in part one. So the correct answer is Wombat. Now, phone number and this number is for band score two. The people who get two band, this is for them. That's the basic one. One band in IELTS means non-user. Non-user means you have no relationship with English. Right? Okay, let's go on. Child care information. Days enrolled for. Now, it's written Monday and dash. It means the lady is going to enroll her child for two days. And those two days, one is Monday. And second, they will tell us in the audio. And again, they are going to play with us. For example, uh, well, I think Monday will be fine. And usually on Tuesday, I'm home so I can take care of her. And Wednesday is fine as well because her dad is home. So she can, she can, uh, he can take care of her very well. I think the other day should be Saturday. Right? So answer is Monday is already written. Saturday will be. So listen carefully. It's not that any day of the week they tell and you write. That is the answer. No, you got to listen carefully and then decide what is the right answer. Okay, let's see. So, have you decided on the days you would like to bring your daughter here? I'd prefer Monday and Wednesday if possible. Hmm, I'll check. Monday's fine, but I think the centre is already full for Wednesday. Uh, yes. Sorry, it seems to be a very popular day. We can offer you a Thursday or a Friday as well. Oh, dear. I suppose Thursday would be all right because she has swimming on Friday. OK, got that. Answer is Thursday. She said Wednesday, but that is full. And uh, Friday, she's got swimming. So Thursday is OK. Noticed one thing, like, like this thing. In IELTS, listening throughout listening, you will come across such type of things. OK, good. Let's go on. Start time dash a.m. Now start time. Answer is start time. It's going to be a number. And whenever there is time, you can write it in any format. For example, if it is 10.30, you can write 10.30 or 10 colon 30 or 10 dash 30 like that. Okay. But it should be written as a number, whatever it is. Start time is the question. Because a lot of parents work, we do offer flexible start and finish times. We're open from 7.30 in the morning until 6 o'clock at night. What time would you like your daughter to start? I need to get to work in the city by 9, so I'll drop her off at 8.30. Mm -hmm. You're pretty close to the city here, so that should give me plenty of time to get there. That's fine. Now, have you noticed one thing? The audio is fast. Now, this is not fast. It is fluent. Students complain the audio is fast, audio is fast in part four, part one. It's not fast, it's fluent. They're speaking fluently. So the right answer is 8.30. Please listen to it again. Because a lot of parents work, we do offer flexible start and finish times. We're open from 7.30 in the morning until 6 o'clock at night. Okay, we are open from 7.30 a.m. in the morning until 6 o'clock. So start time for Kate. Right? That is not the start time. That is the start opening time of that centre. Now listen. Right. What time would you like your daughter to start? 
I need to get to work in the city by nine. So I need to get to work in the city by nine. Now nine is the time when she needs to reach her office. I need to get to city for work by nine. So I'll drop her off at eight thirty. Mm-hmm. I'll drop her off at eight thirty. So start time is eight thirty. See, it's confusing. You need to see several options, and then the right option you got to select. Okay, child care group, the dash group. It's going to be the name of the group. Very simple. She's going to put that girl into that group. It's going to be the name of the group. So let's see. Now we also need to decide which group she'll be in. We have two different groups, and they're divided up according to age. There's the green group, which is for three to four year olds, and then there's the red group, which is for four to five year olds. She's quite mature for her age, and she can already write her name and read a little. Well, I'll put her in the red group, and we can always change her to the green one if there are any problems. That sounds fine. Okay. Yeah, we'll put her in the red group, and she can always change to green group and all that. So answer is red. And notice one thing: every time there is one option, one alternative, one wrong alternative. Sometimes two, sometimes three, but there is always one wrong alternative. trap exactly distraction or trap question number 6 which meals are required each day now what are the meals breakfast lunch dinner and what is her timing there by the way yes yeah, she is going to be there at 8:30 am onwards so which meals are required each day now let's see which meal breakfast she will have at home it can be lunch or dinner now she will pick her not that cruel she will pick her before dinner huh let's see let's move on to meals we can provide breakfast lunch and dinner as she's finishing pretty early she won't need dinner will you give her breakfast before she comes yes she'll only need lunch yes but that yes was very confusing yes she'll only need lunch breakfast she will have and dinner is for late just just listen to it again and again i tell you the tips the way they are playing with us in every test they will play the same way so it's not that you are learning something different in one test and other test it's entirely different not at all they have the same things okay let's go on let's move on to meals we can provide breakfast lunch and dinner as she's finishing pretty early she won't need dinner will you give her breakfast before she comes Yes, she'll only need lunch. Oh, sh- yeah, th- there was something different. Listen. Let's move on to meals. Yeah. We can provide breakfast, lunch and dinner. As she's finishing pretty early, she won't need dinner. Will you give her breakfast before she comes? Will you give her breakfast before she comes? And she said, yes. yes, she'll only need lunch. She'll only need lunch. So breakfast she will give and dinner she'll have at home. Lunch is the right answer. Medical conditions. needs dash now there is a medical problem with that girl and she needs something let's see what is it now does she have any medical conditions we need to know about does she have asthma or any hearing problems for example no but she does need to wear glasses oh i'll make a note of that yeah she... she's pretty good about wearing them she can't see much without them right she okay she does wear glasses like i'm wearing glasses okay so answer is glasses and how old is she 4 years old girl wearing glasses toba 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 all right bacche mobile use kar okay question number 8 emergency contact jenny now jenny is written last name is missing emergency contact jenny dash and phone number is given so let's see what is that emergency contact Now I also need emergency contact details. So what sort of information do you need? Uh, just the name and number of a friend or family member we can contact in case we can't get hold of you at any time. Okay. That had better be my sister, Jenny Ball. Uh-huh. That's B A L L. Her phone number is 3346 7523. Right. Ball. Okay. So her name is Jenny Ball. You see, I'm getting something now. Jenny Gendwali. All right. Okay. So Jenny Ball. B A W L Ball. Right. Okay. Ball has other meanings as well. Anyways, relationship to child. Now, what is Jenny's relationship to child? Yeah. 
aunt or yeah of course she cannot be uncle so she can be aunt or grandmother or any any other relation like that so she is the child's aunt yes that's right i'll make a note of that as well all right so she is the child's aunt yes relationship and she is the child's aunt and answer is aunt a n t good and if you write a n t aunt kiri chunti that's going to be the wrong answer okay so the right answer is aunt a u n t aunt. and don't write auntie i mean they said aunt aunt is the right answer don't write anything extra let's go on fees will pay each dash now will pay each now for example it can be will pay each day daily fee like when she drops the child there she pays the fee or it can be weekly it can be hourly will pay each hour hourly it's difficult and kanta ho gaya kaddo paise okay agla kanta ho gaya kaddo paise it's not that the motor bike that you are renting or anything like that so will pay each week each day each month each year right and listen for will pay each for each they're going to use the word weekly l y for example weekly daily monthly yearly and like that so let's see and again they will confuse you you can pay on daily basis if you want otherwise we've got some weekly options and you can go for monthly ones as well and if you pay annually you get some discount see that and then she will say something and that it will be the answer now is there anything you'd like to ask <laughs> what about payment How much are the fees each term? Well, for two days and the hours you've chosen, that will be four hundred and fifty dollars altogether. All right, so four hundred and fifty dollars. Ah, that's not the answer. Exactly. Each now listen, but they didn't tell us the term. Now answer will come. Right? Some will write four hundred and fifty dollar. I Canada. Okay, so <laughs> they'll be confident like that. Yeah, there are people like that. Janu, I am masjid. Okay, <laughs> so listen, please now. How much are the fees each term? Well, for two days and the hours you've chosen, that will be four hundred and fifty dollars altogether. Okay, and do I have to pay that now? No, we send out invoices once the children start at the centre. You can choose to pay at the end of each term, or we do offer a slightly discounted rate if you pay every month. Oh, I'll do that then. I find it easier to budget that way, and I'm not used to the term dates just yet. <laughs> Good. It makes it a lot simpler for us every as well. Every month, exactly. So we'll pay each month. Now, with each, you cannot write monthly. Each month means monthly, right? Yeah. So month is the right answer. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now let's move on. Uh, applicant can't eat if she is a vegetarian. She can't eat fish or meat, and if she is having some sort of allergy, so I mean, can't eat. For that, she will say, "I'm allergic to something. I'm allergic to fish." Or if she says, uh, "I don't eat fish," so answer is going to be that whatever she cannot eat, and it's going to be one word. Now, is there anything I need to know about the food you eat? We usually have one or two people in the group who don't eat meat or have some sort of food allergy, so we're always very careful about that. Yes, I'm allergic to cheese. Would that be a problem? No. As long as we have enough notice, we can deal with that. That's great. Okay, actual exam me when you find the answer, just say that answer loudly in the examination room and you will be banned for 3 years. Okay wait for the audio to finish and then tell me your answer so the right answer is cheese c h yeah if you've got the wrong spelling your answer is wrong cheese is the right answer okay next contact details address 27- place 27 is a number already written and 7 is question number 7 dash place now they are going to mention the name of the place if the name is usual they will not spell it if the name is unusual then they are going to spell it for you right let's see it sounds really interesting would you like me to fill in an application form yes please 
Where should I post it to? Could you send it to 27 Arbuthnot Place? A R B U T H N O T Place Dumfries. So A R B U T H Arbus not and place is already written. So you will not write place on your answer sheet, you will write Arbus not. Okay, question number eight postcode. Now, whenever we talk about postcode, uh, some postcodes are only number. Some postcodes are number plus uh, alphabet. For example, 47CA59D, something like that, okay? So number plus alphabet. So let's see what the postcode is. And what's the postcode, please? DG74PH. Was that P Papa or B Bravo? P Papa. Got that. All right, DG74, P Papa. <laughs> P Papa means for clarification. Yeah, don't write P Papa. My Papa pura likhi aya. See, not like this, okay? Wrong answer. So whenever there is a postcode, you must use all capital. Otherwise, on, answer, on, on your answer sheet, you can write all capital, all small, first capital, rest small. There's no problem. Now, interview. Interview at 2.30 p.m. on day of the week. So see that when you read the questions like this, that answer is going to be a day of the week, you will find the answer like this. And when you read the question without understanding, then answer will come and go and you will never write it. So let's see on what day. If you could return the application form by Friday this week, we can interview you on Tuesday next week. Say half past two, <coughs> would that be possible for you? Yes, it's fine. You're quite a long way from where I live, so I'll drive over on Monday. No, Monday. Friday. Why Tuesday? Because interview is on Tuesday. She will drive over on Monday and they will tell her on Friday and all that. Listen. If you could return form by Friday this week, we can interview you on Tuesday next week. Say half past two. Would that be possible for you? Yes, it's fine. You're quite a long way from where I live, so I'll drive over on Monday. Okay, have you noticed Monday, Friday, Tuesday? So they always do like this in IELTS listening. So you should be ready. You need to identify the right information from wrong information. Question number 10. Will plan a short dash about being a tour guide. Short. Underline the word short. For example, if they use the word short interview, short interview, in the audio they can say five minute interview. Now five minute means what? Short, short interview, right? Five minute or short. Now I play the audio, please listen and answer. Should I bring anything to the interview? We'll have your application form, of course, but we'll need to see any certificates you've got that are relevant in cycling, first aid or whatever. Okay. And at the interview, We'd like to find out about your experience of being a tour guide. So, could you prepare a 10-minute talk about that, please? You don't need slides or any complicated equipment. Just some notes. Right. I'll start thinking about that straight away. Good. Could you prepare a 10-minute talk? Now, short and 10-minute, they are same answer is talk. Right. The audio chal rahi ho, section 1, questions 1 to 10, complete the notes below. Ab is uh, sentence se aapko, uh, like you understand the type of questions that you are doing. It is uh, notes completion. Write one word and or a number for each answer. So it's one word and or a number. Means one word plus number, only number, right, or only word like that cycle tour leader applicant inquiry now it's all about cycle tour leader now imagine bicycles there is a tour of bicycles and there is a leader one leader of the bicycles applicant inquiry uh, you can see example is given margaret smith so we will move on to question number one about the applicant applicant means the person who applies for job we call him applicant. So, 
uh, about the applicant wants wants goes back to applicant it means applicant wants a dash job dash job means type of job for example applicant wants a permanent job applicant wants a full time job applicant wants a part time job now part time you will write with the hyphen it will be counted as one word clear so answer is going to be type of job now i play the audio please listen and answer hello pembroke cycling <coughs> bob speaking oh hello i've seen your advert for people to lead cycle trips are you the right person to speak to yes i am could i have your name please it's margaret smith are you looking for a permanent job margaret no temporary I've got a permanent job starting in a few months time and I want to do something else until then. Okay. Good. Are you looking for a permanent job? That was a question. That was a question and she said temporary. And you should have the right spelling of temporary or temporary. Okay? Good job. Let's go on. Question number 2. Will soon start work as a by the way who? Applicant. so you should read it like applicant will soon start work as a now listen whenever they say work as a answer is going to be a profession work as a nurse work as a banker work as a teacher so answer is going to be a profession and when you read the questions you need to read them like this that answer is going to be a profession answer is going to be type of job then you will find the answer and if you read the questions blindly answers will come and go and you will not be able to find them so question number 2 what work do you do this will probably sound crazy i used to be a lawyer and then i made a complete career change and i'm going to be a doctor i've just finished my training right doctor. lawyer well done just a sec oh chup te reha karo chor phadan de ho yeah lawyer ha paaye na I used to be a lawyer. मैं वकील हुंदी हुंदी सी. Means I used to be a lawyer. मैं lawyer हुआ करती थी. What's the question? Will soon start. And for that she said I'm going to be a lawyer. Going to be a sorry doctor. So going to be and will soon start. They are synonyms. Answer is doctor. Okay, doctor. Yeah. Now has led cycle trips. Who? applicant has led cycle trips in in means location in means it can be the name of country city has led cycle trips in university in london or any place like that so let's see and have you had any experience of leading cycle trips yes i've led several bike tours in africa the trip to india that i had arranged to lead next month has now been cancelled So when I saw you were advertising for tour leaders I decided to apply. Okay. India. India. <laughs> What's wrong with India? The tour cancelled. The tour is cancelled now, okay? So you understand with the right answer they will always give you a wrong choice and you have to identify that wrong choice, okay? So the correct answer is Africa. And the best way to improve your English pronunciation is IELTS listening, not Africa. She said Africa, Africa, okay? All right. The next point is about uh, families. So just underline the word families so that you could track the audio. when they talk about families it means they are discussing next point now come to question number 4 applicant is currently doing voluntary work with members of a dash club name of club name of club or type of club that will be the answer okay <clears throat> now we normally have two or three leaders on a trip depending on the size of the group Some tours are for very experienced <coughs> cyclists, but we've got a tour coming up soon in Spain, which is proving so popular. We need an additional leader. It's a cycling holiday for families. Would that suit you? It certainly would. I enjoy working with children, and I probably need some more experience before I go on a trip. That tour includes several teenagers. Have you worked?
worked with that age group before? Yes, I'm a volunteer worker in a youth club where I help people to improve their cycling skills. Before I... that, I helped out in a cycling club where I taught beginners. Wow, well, that's great. I'm a volunteer worker at a youth club and before that cycling club but that is not the answer the question is in present so answer is youth how do you spell y-o-u-t-h youth question number five available for five months from the first of dash exactly it's going to be the month of the year first of january february and all that and again there will be a trap now the trip i mentioned is just for a fortnight but there might be the possibility of leading other tours after that. Would that fit in with your plans? That would be fine. I'll be free for five months. My job is due to start on October the 2nd, and I'm available from May the 1st until late September. Good. May the 1st. So first is already written, answer is May. And she talked about October and other months as well. Yeah, right?